about a year ago, we started to realize that our computers weren't as fast as they needed to be. We've got all sorts of computers, and we started getting into Cinema 4D, and quickly realized that Cinema 4D just wasn't cutting it, even on the trash can. And we had that thing just maxed out. It really just wasn't pulling the power that we needed to. And it's, it's really interesting. The second we got the iX2 and we loaded up the activity monitor, we all just got really, <laughs> really excited and stoked of how powerful this machine actually is. Once we started getting into 3D modeling, texturing, rendering, lighting, and really needing to use every bit and piece of the machine, our computers just couldn't take it anymore. And, and now, we have, we have the iX2, which is an incredibly powerful machine, and it's really allowing us to, to get these faster render times. We call it the mini fridge. <laughs> shop shop. Comes like a little, it's like a box. It's, it's funny because when people come over and when they see our computers, they're drawn to this really cool dynamic casing. And I mean, like it's, it's unlike, you know, what you, it's definitely different. And it's, uh, it's a pretty powerful machine, but it also looks really cool. <laughs> One of the things I was really nervous about with getting the PC is we have 10 Macs. And how, <clears throat> how is my workflow going to, uh, how is it going to behave if I have all these Macs and then if I'm adding uh, PC files in. So I actually got on the phone with somebody who has a similar setup who has made the leap and um, is working with both Macs and PCs. And, you know, he gave me the confidence to say, hey, there's going to be different, you're going to have to change the way you do things, but everything is achievable. And I understand why everybody has told me when you're doing, you know, when you're doing a lot more visual effects and you're doing a lot more heavy lifting, you definitely need the power behind something like an iX2. It's, it's, it's not like we don't use our Macs anymore, but I think what we do is when we get into a job that needs the power, then we know we have the tool for that job.